Hello. I have a thrift haul from yesterday and today. Yesterday I went to Salvation Army in up north here and it was 50% off. And then we went to St. Vincent today. It was just regular. And let's see. I think yellow tags were 50. I don't think I got any yellow tags though. Anyway, I got this. Um, this is one of those. It's like that. I think they're made in France or Italy. I think. What does it say? I can't read. Oh boy, I can't read it. I think it is. I think they're made in either France or Italy, but I'm going to use this to put water in for my curry. I just have a cheap dollar store one I'm using now. I think this one's a little bit better. So this is $1.99. It needs washing. And I got these. We always call these barf balls because they're all conglomerated. These are Zach. They're sort of, oh, Texas. There's like Texas wear or bowls, but they're, you know, they're newer. But I thought these would be kind of nice for snacks. This is a good size. And they're very festive. So it's $2.99 for three. A buck a piece is pretty good. Hard to see. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Eh, probably not. But they're kind of fun. And ooh, this, I got this, <laughs> tons of fun here. It's like a Bunka uh, doll. And it was $1.99, is it marked? It looks like one of those, I can't see any marking on it. But it looks like one of those Japanese Bunka dolls, which are cute, which are cool. It's kind of neat, yeah. It's just a strange toy to find in that place. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't, you never know. But it's cool. I have a regular Bunka doll too, but this is a different one. This almost this one almost looks Eastern European. Mm -hmm. It's plastic. It's, uh, I thought it was kind of cool. So dollar ninety nine, and then I got this guy. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> This is different than the one I got the other day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is another different. version. Yeah, better. This one is better. He's <laughs> bigger and uh, he's much more plush. You just, ha you know, mm. the other one has that kind more of more refined. Yeah, that other one has that kind of creepy stuff that your fingers get caught on. Mm. You know, yeah. this is more plush and beautiful. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's really cool. See, does he have a date on? He's got his original tag. He was a dollar ninety nine. Uh, 1998. So, he's vintage -y. See, look at his tail. It's awesome. I remember they had some big animated ones back in the day that were cool. And where he had like a string of lights. Mm, like anybody right. would have him put their lights up. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got today. It wasn't much. Then yesterday, I went to the Salvation Army. Half price. This needs polishing. I thought this was good for serving nuts and stuff. So this was two fifty, and I don't know if it's marked under there or not. I'd be a beast to get that tag off, but I'm going to use this one. And I got a little bag of trees. Dollar. This is cheese. So I use these with my uh, little chenille creatures I make. And I got some lovely cocktail napkins for a dollar. I don't know what these are. Well, they're from World Market. There we go. Those are kind of nice. And, oh, I got the, I usually don't buy these, but I thought these were so cute. They would be cute down at the beach. It's salty and peppy. I hope they work good. Mm -hmm. Should. They, they're supposed to have criers in them, but I don't hear no crying. But these are really cute, and they're made in Japan. See, it's stamped J Japan on there. And I think these were three fifty for these. But I thought they were extra cute ones. They're kind of like I don't know, kitty cats or something. But they're darling. Those are nice. And I got this was thrown in with something I got. But we might actually be able to use this. It's a cloisonne bell with a snowman on it. And it's a candle sniffer thing. I just do like, like the that. And I got, oh, I got a, I sold all my embroidery hoops, so now I'm collecting them again. 
This looks like a good vintage one, so it was 50 cents. See. The new embroidery hoops do, don't hold very well. See, this one has the cork and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I, new ones not, are not good. I can see why people buy the old ones. So this is nice. 50 cent. I got. I don't know what he charged me on this. This is from the 80s, but I thought it was really cute. Look at look at this guy. Eek. The Christmas stocking. See, it's 1980. This is the kind of stuff they used to have at that treasure house Christmas shop there. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. All this kind of reproduction Victorian stuff. Yeah. That's kind of cute. It's got nice graphics in it. Cute little pictures of these guys. Look at that big kitty. Nice fat. Yeah. Fat kitty. It's all fur. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that was cute. So I don't know what they charged me, but that was nice. I got this. Oh, I gotta wash this. I got this glass bake casserole for $2. I thought I might even be able to use this. <laughs> and it's a Watkins 1982. You know, I can put my... It's got a casserole. Beef and biscuit casserole. Mm, that sounds good. That does sound kind of good. Beef soup base. What's mm, that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even gee, know what the, know. Gee, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Where do you buy that? <laughs> beef store. <laughs> and I got these. Were, these were really nice. These were only, this ended up being a dollar and a half for both of these. These are... Homer Laughlin, oh, jeez, Riviera, mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember the first name of them, gosh, <laughs> Riviera, anyway, Harlequin, Harlequin, Riviera, uh, and they're not marked, but that's what they are, it, but my friend Bert and, uh, either Bert or Don will take them, because they collect this stuff, but this is a really nice yellow, and they're in great shape. I don't see any damage or anything on no them. No reproduction. No, they're not. They didn't reproduce this. Mm. No. They used to, um, oh, that has a chip right there, but it doesn't matter. It's on the bottom. Mm. They won't care. They used to go to the Woolworths in downtown Seattle, and they had new old stock of this. In the basement. Remember the basement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. They'd go down there searching and get this in the package, original package from like the 40s. Mm -hmm. was still oh, there. Yeah. And they'd buy it. So the colors, you can kind of tell by the color and the glaze. You know, they just, the new stuff doesn't look like this. So that's going to go with that one of those guys. Somebody will appreciate it. And then I got this super cool folk art Santa that I love. Look, he can sit down. He mm -hmm. can kick. <laughs> <laughs> I get a Santa. kick out of you. <laughs> <laughs> and look. Yeah. Have a seat. Drop kick Santa. <laughs> drop kick Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Operation drop <Yeah>. kick. Sick of this. You and your presents. Pew. <laughs> Oh, Santa would do that. <laughs> but he's, he's got this Whoa. weird arm situation. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it uh, it's, good. it's neat. It's, it's, folk, cool. it's yeah. folk art. It's cool. It yeah. looks like it was made out of a... That's know, wider like than two a 2x4, four? Four, isn't it? Yeah. That, yeah, it looks, that like looks two wider by. than a 2x4 to me. I, mean, I don't it's know. It's an old Some kind of know. stock. I don't know. It's awfully Let me see his face. His face is cute. He, he has little. He has nails for eyes, which oh, I love, cool. and just a little, um, a little stub of is. something, and then they painted it. And you know, he's cute. Mm -hmm. And the, look at this is just nailed on there. I love that. It's like cut out of metal and just nailed on there. Mm, yeah. And look at his feet. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> So, I thought that was awesome, and he was, ended up being a dollar and a half. So, that's all I got in my thrifting exploits. I think he's darling. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to show, this is what I've been working on, what I use the embroidery floss for. I made these wrestling outfits for these male dolls. 
and I just I didn't want to put ribbon along the edge because that always looks weird when I do it and so I just used the embroidery floss to do a trim here he is the black you might be able to see it a little better I just saw like an emerald green on there put it down a lot okay there. here we go this is a gorgeous doll this mm -hmm. is an Alejandro by Jamie Show, but these will also fit the Numina dolls too. So that's what I got going so far. So I will see you later. Bye bye.